right now we're at the top of the mountain in Capri. We are actually in An Anna Capri, I believe. This is just the prettiest place I've ever been so far in my life. Spain's still coming. Look at this. This is insane. I can't believe I'm here. I keep dropping my GoPro and I accidentally dinged the glass. So hopefully there's no mark. I can't tell if there's a mark on it, but this is just insane. The views that we have right now of the world, I guess, of it, Italy's world. <laughs> And there's a yacht down there that has my name on it. One day, soon, I hope to get one because I think it'd be cool. There have been some good days some pretty hard days especially just with being tired but views like these are what I was expecting to come from this trip once we were at the top of uh, Capri uh, we took the little gondola down to like the middle part still very high and as we were heading down we knew we wanted to go to the beaches uh, we've heard a lot about the beaches in Capri and so we wanted to see them and so as we were making our voyage down, uh, the bus pass that we had was only for going up. And so going down, they wanted to buy another one. So we were like, no, we won't buy another one. We'll just walk down, how hard could it be? There was no shoulder on the road at all. And so we just ran for it. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Not safe, not safe. <laughs> this is not safe. <laughs> so we have stairs. Where they go to, I don't know. I hope this goes down. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That was fun. Now we're on this really cool hike. <laughs> I feel like I need to cry. Everything that was a little bit stuck in my body. I'm so glad we talked to Tim before we did this. That means pooping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call it. That's our code word. Uh, uh, not the shoes for it either. I wish I had my tennies. My tenny bennies. So we get to walk down the uh, stairs of doom here. Careful. Blindy. It just like pulls you. Desiree is legally blind right now. <laughs> she has corrective lenses, but they're the wrong prescription. She needs thicker goggles. Blind in one eye. Down to go to a beach. The beach is called Bagnoli di Tiberio. And we'll probably ask somebody and they'll say it differently. <laughs> Steps of Mordor. Frodo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like we haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> oh, we're really getting our steps in today. It's like the Eiffel Tower will really stretch out with the same amount of steps. All slanted. They're all slanted and they're not perfect. Berkies. Yeah, I'm sweating so much, my glasses are sliding off. Yeah, mine are sweating. 
Oh. How do you feel, bud? I feel great. My uh, quads are a little shaky. Mozzie, we're thinking of you while we're out here in this beautiful area and something caught our eye. We're like, wow, that's Mozzie right there. Are you ready? Here you go. Just for you, Mozzie. Here? I told you What would you do here, buddy? Oh, I would eat some lemons. I would not ever hike those stairs ever again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we are currently trying to find a beach that is supposed to be the best in Capri. The walk there is intense and beautiful all at the same time. That's so where we just climbed down from. We just got back from the beach, and now we have to hike up the steps. Okay. It's hot. We only had one little like pizza pastry this morning. Out of energy. We are going to the oldest pizzeria in the world. We've been here for probably 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Still waiting for our pizza. Who knows? So my whole idea about this pizzeria was I saw Gordon Ramsay's uh, video on Hulu about his Italian road trip that he did. And so he was talking about this one pizzeria that's the oldest in the world. But we also looked it up. It's, sure enough, oldest in the world as it claims. It was cool to see Gordon Ramsay's photos in the restaurant. We were at the table behind where they were. We were so excited to get our pizza and uh, we ordered a margarita. It was cool that it was the, the exact same one that Gordon Ramsay ate. I thought it was good. Uh, it was definitely different than the one he ate in the video, but it was still good pizza. It's cool to have a slice of history. We only got one pizza because it, was, it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap either just for a margarita pizza, and we didn't know if we were gonna get more food afterwards or not. Divided it up, and that's why you can see us chopping our like couple slices in half. When you only get like a third of a pizza, it's not really a big slice, so you chop it in a couple pieces, and it feels like you have more food. If anyone's wondering why we were cutting up a slice of pizza like barbarians, that's why we didn't have a lot of money, and we didn't have a lot of food. <laughs> Honestly, not the video I thought I was going to be making. The owner was there, he seemed nice. Um, but we probably. There were a lot of people outside that weren't there before us. There were about three groups that came in, and they all got their pizzas before we did. But it's a little disheartening to wait an hour for a pizza other people are getting in 
20 minutes. I was really planning on making a cool video about that, all this pizza place, but just a little disappointed. I'm still hungry. I'm still really hungry. That was seven. Great. Oh, we don't need That's to show Desiree. them. First time I was in London. You're so small. Yeah. <laughs>